Well, don't throw it at me. <laughs> Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. And I've been feeling a bit stressed lately, haven't you? Recently, I got a weighted blanket and it made me feel a little bit better. So I thought if one weighted blanket helps just a little bit, then 14 weighted blankets would solve all of my problems, right? According to research, weighted blankets help with anxiety. So I said to the store, I'll take everything you have, please. Apart from seeing how they help me manage my anxious thoughts and feelings, what I would really like to know is how many weighted blankets does it take until I can't get up? And would that make me more or less anxious? We'll find out today on Simply Nail Logical, the nail art channel. Just quarantine things. But first, let me just briefly touch on what is a weighted blanket, how much does it weigh, and why do we want heavy things on our bodies? Weighted blankets are blankets typically made with plastic poly pellets or glass beads inside of them that gives them their heavier weight. <laughs> They are marketed as therapeutic blankets that help relax the nervous system by stimulating the feeling of being held or hugged. And if you add your cat on top of the weighted blanket, it's a weighted bonus. How many cats until I can't get up? That's my next video. <laughs> He's still sitting down. <laughs> Most adult weighted blankets weigh between 10 and 20 pounds, and generally manufacturers recommend that you pick one that's about 10% of your body weight. 10%. Not 100% <laughs> is the recommendation. Weighted blankets are also pretty expensive. Many are $100 or more for just one. And I don't know, if you ask me, that's pretty pricey for something that just lies on top of you and does absolutely nothing. Kind of like a bad boyfriend. Maybe after this video, I will do a weighted blanket giveaway. The ones I bought came with instructions. So let's read that first to make sure I am not in compliance. The weighted blanket is filled with hypoallergenic, non-toxic, odorless glass beads engineered to be around 10% of your body weight to provide deep pressure touch stimulation without uncomfortable restriction. See, that's what I'm going for, the uncomfortable restriction part. Do not force one to use it. Ben? <laughs> Sit down! <laughs> Do not cover user's face or head with the blanket. Glass beads are non-toxic, however, should not be ingested. Don't eat the blanket. Prevent the cat from, prevent the cat from scratching the blanket and avoiding sharp objects and piercing the blanket. I like how they know I have a cat. All right, um, they don't say this, but I will. Don't do what I'm gonna do at home. Not that you can anyways, because you don't have 14 weighted blankets. Or I hope you don't. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna take a nap. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get out from under one weighted blanket. Because I've done this before and I'm like, that was too easy, I need a challenge. Ready? Good night. <laughs> too easy. <laughs> so the ones I bought say that they're 15 pounds each, but I weighed them and they're 18 pounds. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Before I stack them on, I think we should predict how many it will take before I can't get up. Ben, what do you think? You could at least lift your body weighted blankets, I would think, right? Don't tell them how much I weigh. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could lift like even 150 pounds of blankets. So how many? 18 times five, six, seven or eight blankets. Seven eight, or eight blankets. You could lift eight blankets. Eight off. blankets. Well, here's the thing, are you lifting it or are you like wiggling out of it like a little weasel? Good question. We have to <laughs> qualify this experiment. So I count it as completely getting out from under it, but I can do that however I want. So I think I'm gonna go like this with my upper body and then probably weasel out from under it with my lower body. So I don't have a reference point for how many blankets I can lift because that's not something I've done before, but I do know that I can bench press 100 pounds, but that's lifting like a metal bar that's perfectly positioned in like the ideal situation to lift a bar in. Now with the blankets, they may be 15 or 18 pounds, but they're evenly distributed across my entire body and then some of the weight is overflowing onto the floor. So it's not really the same thing as lifting 
this way. Oh, yeah. But if I had to guess and approach this mathematically. I think you're overthinking this. Based on the footprint of my upper body on a single blanket, I estimate that I would be lifting approximately 50% of it. Because as long as I can get it off the top half of my body, I'm pretty sure I could weasel out my bottom half from under it. Or at least use my upper body to help me get it off my lower body. So 50% of what I thought was 15 pounds is 7.5, and if I can bench 100 pounds and 7.5 goes into 100 13.3 times, that suggests I would not be able to get up at 13 blankets. <laughs> Good thing I have 14 blankets to make sure that I can't get up. If you're just weaseling out, I bet you could do all 14. No, 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 you can't change your guess. No, but if you're lifting them off, I bet you could lift eight. I bet I can lift 13. <laughs> okay, whatever. And 14 will seal the deal and make sure I can't get up, because that's what I'm ultimately after. I don't want to be able to get up. Like, I, I don't, I want to lose this competition. <laughs> All right, you have fun, dear. Okay, I'm gonna have fun. Good, good you job. need to be here for safety. That's 14 blankets times, if they're actually 18 pounds, that's 252 pounds. That's a lot of pounds. Good thing I ate my protein oats this morning. All right, everybody. Welcome to the World Championships of napping. <laughs> good night. Uh. Okay, that's one blanket. Ben, I guess I'm gonna need you to help me with every blanket because I can't get up. It's heavy. Not really. <laughs> it's really not heavy when it's evenly distributed across from you. It is if you're carrying them upstairs, like I did to make this video, I carried them all by myself upstairs. <laughs> well, don't throw it at me, Ben! All right, two. No problem. No problem, bitch. <laughs> Don't put it on your face. Oh yeah. Alright, so you want me to lay it on you. Lay it on thick, baby. That's right. Pack that picnic. Actually, this feels nice. <laughs> my cat ears need to come off. <laughs> this is really just a trick to get you to work out today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you need to just call this video 100 layers of weighted blankets, right? <laughs> well, I don't have 100. You know how much does that would cost? 100 times $100. It's a lot of money. Is this what it feels like to have the weight of the world on you? Is it starting to be a challenge? Nope. It's like a weighted crunch, essentially, what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, I'm gonna get a good core workout. <laughs> <laughs> okay, more, more! <laughs> okay. Two at once! Six. So this is five. Okay, put on six. And then six. <laughs> no, it's starting to get hard now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had to exhale on that one. Hello, taco. I'm a hollow taco. I know what I'm getting my entire family for Christmas this year. <laughs> Give me seven. Seven minutes in heaven, baby. Another one. <laughs> DJ Khaled! <laughs> hey, how does that feel? Is this how the delivery man felt? <laughs> when he was carrying up all my packages? You know, they had to deliver it in like a bunch of separate boxes because it weighed too much. But even still, they had to put heavy stickers all over them. So the 8 average. times 15 would be 120 pounds. Okay, so at least 120 pounds. Ready? Nope. Oh, I don't know if we have enough blankets. You're gonna have to lie on me. <laughs> Help. I need to get something off my chest. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Nine and feeling fine. Ten. Ten. <laughs> Guys, I have to tell you something. This channel weighs very heavily on me. <laughs> Oh, the camera's still rolling because it wouldn't want to miss this historical moment. <laughs> Alright, that's 10. You want 11? You know how they say as a YouTuber you feel a lot of pressure? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, look at me now. <laughs> 11. How much weight do you think it takes to crush the human body? <laughs> and other things I googled in quarantine. <laughs> I actually did Google that, and apparently in the 1700s, as a measure of torture, they would put a bunch of rocks that weighed up to 700 pounds on someone, and it took them half an hour to die. So I think I'm fine. So I'm going to be waiting how long? <laughs> 12. I need to take a deep breath in. So this is at least 180 pounds of blankets. But evenly distributed across my body and the floor. Yes, dear. I'm trying to make it sound like a lot. <laughs> I'm so strong. Okay, ready? <laughs> 
We need four blankets. Blanket Mountain! <laughs> Are oh. they on you? Uh, is it on? Is it on? <laughs> is it on? How are you feeling? More or less anxious than when you started? <laughs> I just feel like I'm really anxious about getting them off of me. <laughs> like, well, that's not good. <laughs> You're supposed normal. to pep talk me, aren't you, my coach? Let's get it. Lightweight. Okay, so 13. Lucky number 13 will it'll get me in the grave. I'm done for, right? <laughs> you having any chest pains? <laughs> <laughs> just a little, but it feels kind of nice. All right, 13. The last blanket. <laughs> Help, I've fallen under 14 weighted blankets and I can't get up. I have to say that I can feel this in my butt, like not in a good way, because now my butt feels like it's under pressure being squished into the floor. <laughs> Like if you had a glass, a piece of glass under my butt and you were looking at it from under, it would be really squished right now. So this is what having the weight of the world on you is like, eh? This is at least 210 pounds. Probably more like 250. If it's 18, yeah, it's more. Like 15 another, more pounds! Another 12 pounds. <laughs> hey buddy! He's so proud, he's trapped his human. Hundred layers of blankets. <laughs> was this everything you hoped it would be? No, I was hoping for it to be heavier. <laughs> okay. But I have an idea. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my, my, I, my anxiety is gone. Ben, you're sweating. Your forehead is <laughs> sweating. <laughs> Lifting all those blankets. I don't think you're gonna be able to get up. Fourteen weighted blankets plus Ben. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's see if you can get up. <laughs> I can't even laugh. <laughs> no! our minds in quarantine. <laughs> oh no, I lost the slipper. Oh no, she must be saved. You'll never see it again. No, she's been crushed. Oh. Oh, you wanna have a sleepover? <laughs> Is your anxiety cured? <laughs> you know, it was actually really nice and I think I've concluded at least that one weighted blanket isn't enough for me. Like I think I need at least six. So you won't be giving these away. You need all of them. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it answered some really meaningful life questions for you. Uh, if anything, now you know that... I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any other interesting research questions about the meaning of life, please comment them down below because I will try them. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.